The grace of God has a sustaining power, a comforting power. But what the grace of God can do, what the spirit does, see, you're a spirit, soul, and body. You're a spirit, a soul, and a body. These two things are afflicted greatly. Afflicted. Your body is afflicted. Leonard is dealing with some complications and so forth right now, just like Brother uh, uh, Clifford and so forth. These things are afflicted, and, and these are things to endure, especially in, in your soul as well. Now your spirit there, is life. because of the spirit of God, right, and the word of God, that thing has a sustaining power to help you endure those things. And, and, and what Thanksgiving does, it, it kind of, it's one of those, those cogs in the engine to help sustain you. How can you be afflicted in your soul or in your body as a grace believer, yet endure being grateful and thankful? We believe in ministry. I hear about everybody. I get hundreds of emails, and I hear about their physical afflictions. I hear about their soul, affliction of their soul, what they're enduring from their husbands and their wives because they don't believe the truth. What they're doing from their children and their parents, because they don't believe the truth. Their friends, their family, their co-workers, their other church members, from the church they came out. I hear all of that stuff. And the one thing that's keeping them is that, that mystery, that grace message. It's sustaining them in their affliction. And this is the only thing you can really control anyway. No matter how healthy you are, or not, you because of sin and the curse on creation... That's going to happen, right? right? Whether it's you or it could happen to you. These things may just, you just have to endure them. But what's going to sustain you? And that's right, Leonard. The religious system says, oh, God will take that away, that away. You just give me these right here. Yeah. And I'll <laughs> intercede. <laughs> uh -uh. It don't work like that. What they need to do is get you the right doctrine. Because yeah. doc watch what this says. Watch what Paul says. Paul, what? Ver verse 6. Be careful for nothing. Because whether it's your physical body, your soul, your afflictions, the cares of life, whether they be financial, whether they be physical, whether they be in your, in your inner man, your soul, whatever it is, they're going to come. So what do we do? Be careful for nothing. Don't, don't I have much care about it. And it's a learning process. It's a sustaining thing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, asking God to supply. Notice he says, with what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's that part in there that there's something in thanksgiving to God being, being uh, appreciative of, of, of the blessings you do have from Almighty God. Let your request be made unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And, and, and see, that through Christ Jesus, that has to do with his power source there, with that mind of Christ. So Dorothy, when you were talking about focus on him, look at verse 8. Finally, brethren, what sort of things are true, what sort of things are honest, what sort of things are just, what sort of things are pure, what sort of things are lovely, what sort of things are good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned, this, this is Paul to the Philippians, learn, and re so learned of Paul, and received of Paul, and heard of Paul, and seen in me, that's Paul, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. So in, in, as you endure all of these things that come along from the sin-cursed world, whether it was you bringing it on yourself or others, you know, you live with other human beings, other sinners, what happens is the thing that's going to sustain you in your life as a grace believer is the truth, the doctrine. And part of that is being thankful for the blessings that you do have. You have the word. You're saved. If you die, you're going to be with the Lord. If you live... You can serve the Lord. You got his word. You got other saints. There are all these blessings that you have that you can be thankful for. And that's what Paul is, is talking about. Go back to Ephesians 5. That sustaining power to live pleasing to God. To walk pleasing to God. As a sweet smelling savor. As a sacrifice. It hinges on giving of thanks. Interesting enough, he puts that right on in there just like in Romans 1. Just like in Philippians 4.